So a buddy of mine gave me this can of uh, sardines at work. And I was like, yo, what's up with the, uh, the canned fish? I've always eaten like canned fish and canned seafood. And I'm like, what's the deal? Uh, it was not like, I don't know, like cheapo food. Cause he's all into like gourmet ingredients and stuff. He's like, well, you know, there's a range of canned food going from lesser to a more higher end. So uh, today I am going to make uh, sardines and crackers. Cause honestly, I've never actually had sardines and crackers. I've had just like grilled sardines, uh, but I never had them as like an appetizer or an hors d'oeuvre. So I went and I raided the refrigerator, grabbed a few things from the garden, got tomatoes, uh, cucumber, got some basil, some thyme, rosemary, and I think that's coriander. Anyhow, okay. So, I don't really know what I'm doing here. This is like kind of how I cook. I just kind of like make a freestyle event out of it. Um, I have a general plan. Uh, it usually starts with raiding the fridge uh, and seeing just like what ingredients are there. Uh, so I'm just gonna Quick chop of all this. herbs cut um, I mean you can just use whatever herbs that you like I just kind of grabbed the whole mishmash um, let's take some onions because onions are where the flavor is so I was thinking slice these very thin I don't really want to chop these necessarily I want like little just like a, a bed of very thin sliced onion if you don't know how to use a knife, I recommend Google searching the way to hold and chop. So there's a certain way to cut and it's with your fingertips going down. So only your fingernails are exposed in case you do slip, only you'll hit your nail and not actually cut your finger. So let's take these onions, just mix them up with the herbs. Good. And I was also thinking, let's grab some olives, because I like olives. Olives are awesome. Olives are pretty dope, right? Olives are dope. They're dope in there. Okay, let's cut some olives. Uh, olives can be kind of tricky to cut. They're kind of mushy. You really want a sharp knife for this. Kids. Make sure your parents are <laughs> getting your parents' permission for you to use a knife. Uh, these are not toys. Uh, let's go up to the shopping. Okay. I got some olives in there. That looks good. Let's check out the zucchini. Let me get some tomatoes. Uh, I, I actually prefer larger tomatoes. I'm not too keen on these little cherries. Uh, maybe I'll have uh, Joe ship me out some uh, Garden State tomatoes from Jersey. I don't know why I said Jersey like that. It's not like a tough guy. Well, you kind of do talk like that. Like, I'm from Jersey. Yeah. Uh, oh, look at me. I'm from Jersey. Uh, I eat my tomatoes and I drink my cranberry juice. <laughs> yeah. I can say that because I'm from Philly, you know, and you know, we Philadelphians, we, we take liberties and 
pot shots of jersey all the time because you know it's it's the eagles are our team they're like work wearing their jerseys and your, <laughs> you know get your own football team jersey oh that's right you don't have one ha 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 same with the Phillies, too. You know, get your own baseball team, too. She's got the Nets. She's got a basketball team. So, and I guess if you want to count, like, whatever New York teams, then you guys freaking jump on the bandwagon on those ties, too. Oh, don't get me started, Dundra. I'm sorry. No, you know what? It's a great state. It's the Garden State. It's got a bunch of great tomatoes and cranberries. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got our little medley of like veggies here. We got our olives, our tomatoes, uh, onions. We got the herbs down to here. That looks good. Uh, before, uh, let's clean this cutting board off. <laughs> I just had an idea. This kind of reminds me of the like Midwest Chicago style hot dog uh, with cucumbers and tomatoes and onions. And they put some celery salt on it and mustard. And that's like, I think the best hot dog personally. I, I love the Midwest hot dog. So I'm thinking this will be like Chicago style sardines and crackers. How's that sound? That sounds good to me. So for is this a zucchini or a cucumber? It's a cucumber. Awesome. You know, I should have took some of the skin off and started this. Let's just take a little bit of this cucumber skin off. We'll call it, we'll star it. It's what it's called. I should, should have cut it in half yet. It's easier to do it before you cut it in half. But I'm just taking off like 50% of the skin. Uh, the cucumber skin can be pretty thick. Kind of, yeah. But it's actually like... You don't want to remove all the skin because then you get this soggy little ugh, thingy, you know. When it's like no skin on the cucumber, it turns to this total mushy grossness. So I think the starring is the best, gives you like the kind of like crunchiness that you want in your cucumber or pickle. Um, once you remove that skin, you're kind of getting rid of all that crunchiness and exposing like the, the meat of the cucumber to uh, get all mushy and gross. little thin, not so thin, but we want slices. Cucumber, because we're going to lay those down nicely over the sardines. Look at the main attraction here. <laughs> Skinless, boneless, smoked sardine fillet, ready to eat protein, what are they in? Uh, water, water, salt, okay. I thought maybe they'd be in oil or something, they're just in water. I do this over. Look at that. That is a nice looking sardine. So 
Ah, sunt lucruri să lini azi. over the sink. an assortment of crocodiles. So we'll do two crocodiles, two crackers. So, an assortment of crackers. Yeah, these look good. Yeah, let's try these guys. These look good. And I like that guy too. Heard my cat. My cat wants to come in. Hold on. Oh, he smells the sardines.
It's a mess. Messy food's the best tasting though. I'll do a better job with the crackers. Not like silly me, forgot like one of the most important things. Lemon. I didn't have a real lemon, so I just had lemon juice from the bottle. I forgot there was some pepper in this lemon. Chicago style sardines and crackers or on a baguette with a medley of olives, fresh herbs, tomatoes, and cucumber. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to try it, you can make it yourself. And if you want to see me cook some other stuff, just leave a comment below. Please like and subscribe. For more cooking or other crazy wacky stuff I do with my hands because my last name is Handy and as it is my real name. R.